Hi, welcome to another video. So Moonshoot AI just dropped their latest update to the Kimi K2 model and they are calling it the 0905 release. I have been putting this model through its process for the past few days and I have to say there are some genuinely impressive improvements that I think you will want to know about. Before we jump into the technical details, let me give you the bigger picture here. This is not just another incremental update where they tweaked a few parameters and called it a day. We are looking at substantial improvement across the board, particularly in areas that matters most to the developers and AI enthusiasts. The context window has been massively expanded, the coding capabilities have been refined and the tool calling accuracy has reached levels that honestly surprised me during testing. Let me start with what's probably the most immediately noticeable upgrade and that's the context window expansion. The previous version of Kimi K2 already had an impressive 128,000 token context window which was already competitive with most models on the market. But this new release doubles that capacity to a staggering 256,000 tokens. To put that in a perspective, that means you can feed this model the equivalent of several hundred pages of code, documentation or text all at once and it will maintain coherent understanding throughout the entire conversation. I tested this extensively by feeding it large code bases and asking it to make modification across multiple files simultaneously. What impressed me was not just that it could handle the volume, but that it maintained context consistency even when jumping between different parts of the code bases that were separated by thousands of tokens. This kind of long context capability is becoming increasingly important as we work with larger and more complex projects. Now let's talk about the coding improvement, because this is where the model really start to shine. Moonshot has specifically focused on front-end development capabilities and tool integration. I spent considerable time testing it on various web development tasks, from simple HTML and CSS layouts to more complex React application with state management and AP integrations. The quality of code it produces feels more polished and production ready compared to the previous version. What really caught my attention was how well it handles modern web development patterns. I ask it to create a responsive dashboard with dark mode toggle, data visualization component and real-time updates. Not only did it structure the code cleanly, but it also included proper error handling, loading state and accessibility features without me having to specifically request them. These are the kind of details that separate immature code from professional grade implementations. The model also demonstrates significantly better understanding of popular frameworks and libraries. I tested it with Vue.js, Angular and React project and in each case it shows best practices, proper component architecture and efficient state management patterns. It even suggested performance optimization that I might not have thought to implement myself. Another area where I notice substantial improvement is in the model's ability to work with APIs and external services. I gave it a complex task involving multiple API endpoints, authentication flows and error handling scenarios. The resulting code was not only functional but also robust with proper retry logic, rate limiting consideration and comprehensive error messages. This level of consistency in API integration is something I usually expect to see only in more expensive proprietary models. Tool calling is another domain where this update really delivers. The accuracy has reached what Moonshot claim is 100% reliability. And from my testing, that's not an exaggeration. I set up various scenarios involving file operations, database queries, external API calls, and system commands. In every case, the model correctly identifies which tools to use, formatted the parameters properly and handled the responses very efficiently. What makes this particularly impressive is how it handles complex multi-step workflows. I created a scenario where it needed to read configuration files, process data through multiple transformation steps, make external API calls and then generate report based on the result. The model analyzes this entire workflow seamlessly making appropriate tool calls in the correct sequence and handles dependencies between different steps. The integration with development environment has also been significant improvement. I tested it with several popular coding systems and IDEs including Visual Studio Code extension and command line tools. 
the setup process is straight forward and once configured the model integrate naturally into the existing workflow it feels less like using an external ai tool and more like having an experienced developer collaborating on your projects performance wise there are some trade offs worth discussing this model is undoubtedly powerful but that power comes with computational requirement response time can vary depending on the complexity of your task and the current server load during peak usage time i noticed some slow responses during peak usage time i noticed some slow responses time compared to the lighter models however for the most relevant tasks the quality of the output more than compensates for any additional wait time the pricing structure remains competitive with the previous version which is noteworthy given the substantial improvement at 15 cents per million input token and 2 dollar and 50 cents per million output tokens it offer excellent values for the capability provided the turbo version which offer faster inference speed comes at a premium but delivers noticeably quicker responses when you need them i also need to touch on the model's reasoning capabilities because this is where it shows both strength and limitations While it's not explicitly designed as a reasoning model like some of the latest release from other companies, it demonstrates solid logic thinking in code related tasks. It can break down complex problems, identify edge cases and propose solution that accounts for various scenarios. However, in purely logical and mathematical reasoning tasks that don't involve code, it sometimes struggles compared to specialized reasoning models. This is not necessarily a criticism since this model is clearly optimized for development task rather than general reasoning. It's most about setting appropriate expectations for different use cases. Let me share some specific example of where this model excels. I ask it to help me build a content management system with user authentication, file upload capabilities and REST API backend. The resulting code was impressively comprehensive including proper security measures, input validation, database schema design and even deployment configuration file. It also provided clear documentation explaining the architecture decision and how to extend the system. It included proper error handling for malformed data, progress tracking for long running operations and configurable processing parameters. The model also shows strong capabilities in debugging and code optimization. I tried it with problematic code containing performance issues and logical error. It successfully identifies major issues and provided specific recommendations for fixes along with explanation of why each changes were necessary. When it comes to different programming languages, the improvement are consistent across the board. I tested it with Python, JavaScript, Go, Rust and several other languages. While it shows particular strength in web technologies, it demonstrates solid competence in system programming, data science applications, and mobile development frameworks. One area that deserves special mention is its handling of modern development practices. The model shows good understanding of containerization with Docker, CI/CD pipelines, infrastructure as code, and cloud in development patterns. When building applications, it often suggests appropriate testing strategies and deployment configuration without being explicit. be asked the open source nature of this model is another significant advantage having access to the wait means you can run it locally if you have sufficient hardware or you can fine tune it for specific use cases as well this flexibility is particularly valuable for organization with specific requirement or constraint around data privacy and model customization the key takeaway is that we are seeing open source model reaching levels of capability that were previously exclusive to the most expensive pre priority models This demonstration of advanced AI capabilities is likely to accelerate innovation across the entire development community. That's going to wrap up today's exploration of the Kimi K20905 release. I would love to hear about your experience if you decide to try it out. Drop a comment below sharing what kind of projects you are working on and how AI tools are fitting into your development workflow. And don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.